sasagot naman tayo ng uh, probability ng random variable, specifically sa discrete random variable, na kung saan yung values ng x natin ay mga whole numbers. Dun sa first uh, example natin, uh, yung isang university daw ay may grade distribution na uh, 26% para sa mga students na nakakukuha ng A, 42% sa B, and so on. Now, um, gagawin natin, isasagutan natin yung probability questions A, B, and C, wherein yung grade na A ay equal to 4, at ang grade ng uh, B ay 3, C is 2, and so on. So, to illustrate yung uh, given information, yung A natin is equal to 4, yung B natin is 3, yung C is 2, D is 1, at F ay 0. Since ang X natin ay random variable, so ang X natin, ang represent niya would be yung uh, grades of So, yan yung representation ng x. So, kung gagawin natin yung table form ng ating grade distribution, yung x natin will be starting from 0, grade of f, grade of d is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since ang mga values ng ating x will be from 0 up until 4. Now, yung percentages ay given dito sa problem at to get a grade of F or 0, 2% yung probability niya or yung percentage niya. So we can write it at 0 0.02. Ang grade of D naman, which is 1 as a va variable X natin, is 10%. And then 20%. And then 10% for uh, 3. At to get a grade of A, um, 26, I mean, 42 pala. 42. At to get a grade of A, it's 0.26. So ito yung ating grade distribution. At kapag in natin si 0 0.2, 0 0.10, 0 0.2, 0 0.42, and 0 0.26, it will equal to 100%. So this is a legitimate probability model. So sa pagsagot ng mga random variables, mas mabuti na nakikita natin yung ating uh, probability distribution as given by the problem. Now that we have the uh, probability distribution, pwede na natin sagutin yung problem letter A. Yung problem letter A ay ano daw yung ibig sabihin ng P of X greater than or equal to 3. P of X greater than or equal to 3. So in words, so kung ang grade mo ay 3, ang grade mo ay B, so ano daw yung... Um, probability na yung student na mapipili natin, yung grade niya will be uh, equal to or higher than a grade of B. So yun basically yung ating representation of P of X greater than or equal to 3. So percentage or probability So, yan yung uh, um, P of X greater than or equal to 3 in word form. Now, to find the probability of X greater than or equal to 3, it means i-add lang natin C3 si hanggang kay 4. So, P of X equal to 3, I mean greater than or equal to 3, is simply P of 3 plus P of 4. At ang P of 3 natin is 0.42 plus 0.26. At kapag inad natin si 42 plus 26, it will give us 0.68 or approximately equal to 68%. So yung probability na yung student ay makakakuha ng uh, grade na B and above is 68% based dito sa grade distribution dito sa ating problem. Now for number letter B, we need to find the probability na yung student makakakuha ng grade na worse sa C. So kung ang C natin ay 2, ito yung C. 
ano daw yung probability na worse than C magkukuha nating grade. So, ibig sabihin makakakuha siya ng grade ng D or F bagsak. So, yung ating notation will be probability of X less than a grade of C which is 2 as a random variable. So, since X is less than 2 or worse, a grade worse than C or less than 2, we will add P of 0 at P of 1. At ang P of 0 natin is 2% or 0 0.02. At ang P of 1 natin is 10% or 0.1. So, add them up. Ang ating probability ay 0.12. So, that means 12% lang yung probability na ang student ay makakakuha ng grade na mababa kesa sa C dito sa ating uh, problem letter B. Now, for problem letter A, I mean letter C, the last one, ano daw yung probability na ang student ay makakakuha ng grade na mas mababa sa A? So, ang A natin is 4, so mas mababa sa A is B all the way to F. So, ang probability notation natin will be P of X less than A, or in this case, less than 4. So, ito yung ating uh, probability notation ng grade na mas mababa sa A. So, to compute for that, we can have, or we can use two methods. One, pwede natin gawin is, um, i-add si P of 0, P of 1, P of 2 at P of 3. Or, para mas madali, since kailangan lang natin is yung grade na mas mababa sa 4, so kunin lang natin yung complement na makakakuha ng probability na A. At ang percentage niya is 0.26, so we can just use 1 minus 0.26 since yung probability na model natin is equal to 26. So, ang probability na makakakuha ng grade na lower than A would be 1 minus 26 or 0.74. So, ito yung pagsagot ng problem number 1. Now, so problem number 2, meron tayong... Uh, a random variable x, not in random variable x natin is represented by number of heads obtained when you flip a coin three times. Now sometimes, given yung information natin about yung probability distribution, at sometimes, hindi binibigay yung actual probability distribution at kailangan natin kunin or hanapin niyon base doon sa question natin. At dito, ang um, strategy sa pagkuha ng probability distribution would be a tree diagram. So, ang tree diagram natin magsisimula siya sa first flip at ang probability or yung possible outcome niya is just tails and heads. So, sa second flip, madadagdagan. Magkakaroon tayo ng tails and heads right here. And tails and heads right here. And then sa third flip, meron tayo yung third branch. At sa paggawa ng tree diagram, mas makukuha natin systematically yung possible outcomes ng event na ito. So, pwede tayo magkaroon ng tatlong tails. Pwede tayo magkaroon ng two T's and one H kapag nag-flip tayo ng three times. We have THT, THH, we have HTT, HTH, HHT and H, H, H. A total of eight possible combinations. So, yan yung total combination natin na gagamitin natin sa pag-construct ng ating table. So, ang random variable natin na X would be number of heads. When you flip a coin three times. So, ito yung possible outcomes natin. So, to organize our random variable, ito yung x. So, pwede tayong makakuha ng zero heads kasi pwede ang lumabas tatlong tails. So, pwede tayong mag-start ng zero and then one and then two 
and then three heads. So yan yung mga possible outcomes. So hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng four kasi tatlong flips lang yung gagamitin natin. So maximum niya is three, minimum niya is zero heads. Now, bibilangin natin yung probability or ikukompute natin yung probability of getting zero heads and so on. So ito yung ating probability. So zero heads, meron tayong one possible outcome. So it will be one out of eight. Getting uh, one heads, so pwede tayo makakuha ng one, two, three, so three. Uh, two heads, pwede tayo makakuha ng one, two, three. At uh, three heads, meron tayong one possible outcome. So one out of eight. Now, alam natin na tama yung bilang natin kapag in natin yung mga fractions, 1, 8 out of um, 3, 8, 3, 8, and 1, 8, we'll have 8 yung denominator natin, 1 plus 3 plus 3 is going to be 8. So, equal to 1 yung ating probability model. So, pwede na natin sagutin yung mga probability questions. So, ito yung pinaka uh, mahirap gawin sa paggawa ng table, pero once meron ka ng table, mas maintindihan na natin kung paano kunin yung probability ng bawat isa. Starting with letter A. Ano daw yung probability of getting exactly 3 heads? So, P of X equal to 3, or 3 heads. So, kukunin lang natin yung uh, probability no, na nakuha na natin sa 3 diagram, so it will be 1 out of 8. So, yan yung sagot for problem letter A. For problem letter B, we need to find the probability of getting at most two heads. At most means maximum of two. So, ito yung two heads natin. So, ibig sabihin ito yung maximum number of heads. So, pwede siyang maging one or pwede siyang maging zero heads. So, P of X would be less than or equal to two. So, ito yung ating inequality representation ng probability of getting at most two heads when you flip a coin three times. So, ang gagawin lang natin is mag a add tayo ng 3 over 8 plus 3 over 8 plus 1 over 8 which is simply P of 0 or P of 2 plus P of 1 plus P of 0. At kapag in natin siya, 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7. So, yung probability niya is 7 out of 8. So, yan yung problem number or letter B. At yung problem letter C naman, ano daw yung probability of getting less than 1 heads when you flip a coin 3 times? So, ito yung 1 less than 1 heads. That means ito lang yung probability na yun. X equal to 0. So, P of X less than 1. So, ang less than 1, ibig sabihin hindi kasama si 1. So, ang kukuni lang natin is P of 0. So, P of 0 is 1 over 8. So, ang answer natin sa letter C is 1 out of 8. So, ito yung pagkuha ng probability ng discrete random variable using um, the probability model.